Hi, my name is Steve Buckenroth, and what I want to do is show you uh, an easy way to understand P-Factor. And when we're reading a book, it's pretty hard to get, at least it is for me. It's not something I, I easily get. So one day I came out and started messing around with the straight edge, and this is an easy way to show P-Factor. Uh, what we've got right here, if I hold this straight edge, this, this aircraft simulates the airplane flying straight and level. And you can see the gap I have right here, maybe using my finger against this. That shows the angle of attack of the propeller. Now what I'm going to do is show you that the other, uh, other side of the propeller is identical to this in terms of angle attack. It kind of goes from my knuckle in. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go to the other side. And if we were to, to do the same thing over here, um, you know, we're doing it from, from right down here, but we can see that the angle attack is, is roughly the same because the, the airplane is uh, simulating straight and level flight. So the downward blade and the upper blade have the same angle of attack to the uh, relative length. So this is, this is Connor. Connor's going to push the tail down for simulating an angle of attack. When we do this, we'll really be able to see this whole P-factor thing explained really quick. We don't have to read it in a book. We don't have to try to do math. We're going to see it really easy when he pushes the tail down. So go ahead, Connor. We're, well, hang on a second. Here's our angle right now. Connor, go ahead and push the tail down, and we'll see how much of a bigger angle of attack we have once this tail is pushed down. Look how that angle of attack just grew. It just grew enormously, and um, we can really see that pretty clear, but not only did this one grow and almost double in size, the other one, we never talk about that. We always talk about the downward blade having a bigger bite. Well, the upper blade has a much smaller bite. So notice how big this bite is on the propeller. Now let's go around to the other side and we'll see how small that bite is. So when we do this side, you can see that that bite almost completely disappears. So you can see that the downward blade grew. It might have a bite of a maybe an inch and a half to two inches, where this one maybe has a bite of about a half an inch. That's P-Factor in a nutshell. And uh, I hope it explains something that's hard to understand. Thanks a lot.